What's going on you guys, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Darl's, where this is a game made by Davin Manning, and this looks to be a really interesting game. I've actually been wanting to play this game for a long time. I think it was about a few years ago, back in 2017, but I never gotten around to doing it, so I decided to do it now. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game and see what has to offer for us. Night Shift Security Guard for Hire. Mr. Darl's Pizza Place is looking for someone to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, and I didn't get to read the rest of the newspaper. <laughs> okay, on to night one. Let's see what has to offer for us. Put your mouse over the doorway and hold down the left button to use the flashlight. Click to hold and wind music box. We got a phone call. Okay, we have a mask. I see that. Okay, so the characters we're dealing with are Dar Darla and Gina. Which Darl's the one um, let me think. Okay, phone guy gave me a description. Darl's the one with the top hat. Darla's the one in the purple outfit. Gina's the one dressed in white. Okay. And we have these hallways we can check and we can check the cameras too. And I gotta wind up the music box because there's an old animatronic in the storage room. Huh? Oh, that's Darl. Okay, so I think if they come in the office, it means we have to use the mask. The Darl mask, I think is what it's called. Ah, Darla. Okay, Darla left. Okay, so Darla, we have to use. Ah. Okay, so for Darla, we have to flash the light at him to scare him off, and for Darla, we have to wear the mask to get rid of her. Okay. And I gotta figure out how we're gonna deal with Gina. Now, I'm assuming for Gina, she'll come on this side. Darla comes... Gina comes from the left side, I think. Darla comes from the middle. Darla comes from the right. Good. Darla, Darla reminds me of Darla reminds me of finding that girl in Finding Nemo. Which 
which she's the dentist's niece, and she's spoiled. She goes crazy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna check the camera to see if Gina moved. Okay, Gina hasn't moved this night. Okay. Okay, so for Gina, um, she's not gonna move this night. So I don't know how we're gonna deal with her for night two. Oh, I see doll. Okay, so for doll, we gotta flash the light at him to scare him off. We have unlimited power, so that's a good thing. God, the music box is the same music as it is in Finance of Freddy's 2. It's the same music for Finance of Freddy's 2. In fact, this whole this whole game has the same mechanics as Finance of Freddy's 2 does. Where we have a flashlight, a music box, and a um a mask. Okay, I'm gonna wind up the music box. Okay, when I'm not dealing with Darl or Darla, I'm gonna check the cameras. Okay, Darl's there. And that noise is so intimidating. Ah! Oh wait, Darl actually comes in the office too? Huh, okay. Okay, so for Darl, you have to use the flashlight to scare him off, but but if he comes in the office, then you have to use the mask just like you would with Darla. Okay. Okay, I actually didn't think Darl would come in the office. I thought I'd have to scare him off with a flashlight. But that's not the case, apparently. And if you hear laughter, it means you gotta put the mask on. And I haven't seen Gina yet this night, so I haven't had to deal with her. Huh? And what's interesting about this game is that the music box is actually in your office. It's not like on the camera like in most... Like in most Final Fantasy Freddy's fan games, as well as Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. Of Darl's here. I'll just keep flashing the light at him to scare him off, because the flashlight does scare him off. You just have to you just have to do it from time to time. Oh! Darl and Darla are here. So I gotta put on the Darl mask. Okay. I'm just gonna flip through the cameras for right now. Now I'm gonna wind up the music box, because you always gotta wind up the music box. Okay, I see Darl. Did Darla come? No, it's just Darl. Okay, Darla came this time. Darl, Darl left, so that's a good thing. That means the flashlight scared him off. Okay, did Darl come back or no? Oh wait, Darla, Darla is still there. Darl has not came back. Ah! Darl and Darla are both double teaming me.
God, I hate when characters double team me in these type of games. That's what I hate. Alright, and we've beaten night one. Ooh, nice music. Yay! We get kids cheering! That's what I like about Final Fantasy Freddy's and most FNAF fan games. Is when kids cheer when you beat a night. Oh, and we just jumped into night two. Okay, good. And since I got enough time to record, we will take on night two in this video. Control to stop the music box. Okay, I did not understand the phone guy because of the background noises. If you're gonna give me if you're gonna if you're gonna give me a call and give me tips on how to do a night, like make sure there's no background noises. Make sure there's no noises in the background, because then I can't understand you. Okay. Okay, controls to stop the music box. Why do we need to stop a music box? Okay, now I gotta wind it all. Now I gotta wind it all the way back up because it makes me start over with it. Okay, I don't know why we have to we have to stop a music box, but that's kind of puzzling. Up. Oh. That's dull. And Gina. Oh. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, so for Gina, um, we have to turn off the music box for her if she comes in the office because the mask will not fool her. Because otherwise she'll make a noise and then jump scare you like she just did in this video. Huh. That's... Okay, that's actually kind of baffling. Okay, so I have to turn off the music box for Gina. I'm... And the phone guy said don't keep it on for t off for too long. Because otherwise that old animatronic is going to come in and kill me. I don't get why that's kind of that's kind of puzzling. I never thought you could turn off a music box in this game. Okay, so Gina's active for night two. Gina's active. And if she comes in the office, we have to turn off the music box. Oh 
Oh, and I see Darl too. I don't see Gina yet. Okay, I'll turn off the music box. Damn it! Okay, I gotta listen to the phone guy again. How do I deal with Gina? That part baffles me. How do I deal with Gina? Okay, I'm gonna listen to the phone call again. How do I deal with Gina? Okay, so if Gina comes in the office, we have to turn off the music box. Okay, that's kind of a weird way to deal with her. That part always baffles me. And I've already been killed twice by Gina in this video. Because I got confused on how to deal with her, but now I figured it out. Once she comes, turn off the music box. Not for too long, though. There's Darl. And then controls, just turn it off. Darl, Darl just left. I saw it. Oh, Gina. Okay. So we gotta turn off the music box. What? Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Do I have to turn off the music box when she's in the office or when she leaves? I don't know. God, night two is confusing. Okay, since I'm so confused trying to do this, I will actually end my video here since I'm going to jump into part two of the recording any minute. But, um, anyways, we will continue on with night two in the next, in part two, which will be in the next video. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And before I end this video, um, let me know in the comments how to deal with Gina because I whether I have to turn off the music box when she's in the office or in the vent, 
or the hallway, I don't know. Just just let me know in the comments how to deal with Gina. Anyways, I will end my video here. Thanks for watching. Bye.